Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Kenna. Subscribe. I would love to have you here. Usually on my channel I do vlogs, but last week I was sick the whole week and was pretty much in bed and didn't go anywhere. So I didn't film anything. But then I came up with the idea of a video just sharing my current safe foods. There's not too many, but it's a good amount and I thought I would share to give you guys ideas. And also I feel like this would be a great video for people to share like their safe foods or recipes that they have that they really enjoy. So people who have gastroparesis or just stomach issues in general can get some ideas because it's always hard finding stuff that works for our bodies. But before I share my safe foods, I kind of just want to give a little background on me if you're not familiar, but my GI conditions are gastroparesis and just intestinal dysmotility. Yeah, basically everything is slow. So that's great. And then I also have POTS as well, um, which might contribute to my nausea, but honestly right now I can't distinguish the difference on what's POTS nausea versus my dysmotility nausea. I'm currently tube fed. I have a GJ tube and most of my nutrition is through my tube, um, but I do eat orally as well. I've been on the feeding tube for a over a year now and I've kind of found what works best for me. Like I found a formula that works best for me. I found a rate that works best for me. And I kind of found a balance between feeding tube and oral intake that works best for me. And for me personally, it's a specific rate for my intestinal feeds and then also eating little by mouth because my whole GI tract is slow. So I feel like for me personally, at where I am at right now, a I'm not gonna say it's a slow rate. I don't, I don't wanna say that, but like, n I don't like to push my intestines too much and I don't like to push my my stomach too much. So like, kind of a little bit from both is what works best for me. So yay. So far that has worked for me so well and I am gaining weight, my labs are all good. So what I'm doing is good, which I am happy about because I feel like it took me so long to get to this point. But I think that's everything I kind of want to preface and we're just gonna go into my safe foods now. So we're just going to get into solids first and then we'll go to liquids. And please don't judge my safe foods, don't judge anybody else's safe foods because some of our safe foods are like weird. I don't know why I tolerate them, but I just do. And same with other people. So please refrain from judgment regarding people's safe foods. For my first safe food, this one I actually discovered recently because I was so afraid to eat this food at first because I didn't think it would agree with me, but then one day I was just like, you know what? I had enough. I missed this. I want it. And it's sushi. I actually tolerate sushi pretty well. So far, all sushi seems to be fine. Um, some days I tolerate it better than others, but that's just kind of how it goes with GI disorders. Like, it it really depends on the day. And kind of along with that is like a poke bowl because that's pretty much just um, sushi deconstructed and smoked salmon as well. Also one thing to say is like, I feel like everyone kind of has different definitions of safe foods. For me personally, safe food for me is it causes minimal nausea, discomfort or whatever. And even though it is a safe food, it doesn't necessarily mean I can eat a large amount of it, but sometimes I can eat a large amount for myself. I don't know, I don't know how to preface this, but like these are just ones that cause like minimal symptoms for me personally, but definitely still cause some discomfort. And then I have a section from Taco Bell. Yes, I, I know, I, I know, but I have safe foods from there and I'm happy about it. And that is the spicy potato soft taco with no lettuce, so delicious. And then also if you don't want like um, a shell, but something similar, the cheesy Fiesta potatoes is also really good. And then the nacho fries from there as well. So kind of just all potato based things. And now kind of one of my biggest categories of safe foods is chips. So. I recently discovered the, actually no, I recently did not discover these. My friend introduced them to me. Dill pickle chips, delicious. Um, but I can tolerate like most potato chips. And then there's veggie chips as well. And I can tolerate both this type. Um, so these are like, I don't know, like the Lay's type version. And, but then there's also just like normal veggie chips that are like, I don't know, I'll like insert a picture or something, but those ones are also really good. And then they also have veggie straws, which are really good. And then recently I discovered they have veggie puffs. So all those type of snacks are good. Um, and then tortilla chips, but specifically the cantina style because these ones are thinner. So I feel like I tolerate them better because there's like less chip to it, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, and then I actually don't have these currently, but I had these a couple times and they're these Siete Churro chips. 
type things. I'll insert a picture, but they are delicious. I love them. Oh, and then also from Taco Bell, like the cinnamon twist. That's what the churro chips remind me of. Okay, and then also fries are iffy for me. I always like say they would be a safe food, but honestly, they cause like a lot of bloating and discomfort, but they're just so good that I can't not eat them. Some fries sit better than others. Usually when I make them at home, they sit better. Um, if I air fry them, but sometimes from the restaurants, they cause a lot of bloating and discomfort just because I feel like how they are made. Okay, you know what? I actually need to pause this video because I'm getting really nauseous right now and I honestly don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is, but I do not feel good. So I am going to come back after I take so for it <laughs> when I don't feel like vomiting. Okay, we're back. I honestly still don't feel that well, but I don't have like much more to get through so we're just gonna go through it next another safe food and this has been a safe food for a while and it's just rice cakes the ones that i tolerate best are the quaker ones my favorite of like the savory ones is the tomato basil so good and also the sweet ones i really like the caramel ones and then they have mini ones too and i also actually really love this flavor too the sweet and spicy chili but they have more flavors in these little mini ones and there's also these things called harvest snaps and they're like these little pea crisps and those are really nice and they have different flavors of those too i also recently discovered i can tolerate small bites of mac and cheese which is amazing because mac and cheese is so good um but that i kind of limit the amount i have because i have a feeling that if i ate like too much of that like my stomach would not enjoy that kind of along with like the rice themed uh rice checks is also really good and they have so many different flavors the last thing i have oh i guess this is technically a liquid but spinach there's like the spinach soup i don't know if i have it um it's not spinach it's like green soup you know what i actually might have it this soup this soup is really good this brand also has some other flavors that are delicious i'm not sure how i go i'm tolerating those i honestly can't really remember but this one is really good and also i forgot to mention this too but i don't want this to get confusing for those who know that I have a GJ tube and have the ability to drain, these foods, when I say they're safe foods, they don't necessarily mean they drain because personally, everyone is different when it comes to draining. Everyone's doctors have different recommendations. My doctor purely just told me if you have symptoms, you can drain. But honestly, that's personally not what I do. I use draining more so as a last resort and that's just a personal preference. Prior to like getting my feeding tube, I was still able to tolerate little bites by mouth and i kind of wanted to keep that going so i didn't want to drain immediately and eventually i really 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 want to get off my feeding tube and the only way that i would be able to do that is if i could eat enough by mouth and i kind of just have to like you know continue to train my stomach to keep it working because i remember one of the first things that i learned in nursing school like one of my first classes we were introduced to the phrase you use it or you lose it and that is just what i apply to my stomach as well you use it or you lose it so that is personally what i do remember everyone is different i'm not telling you to do anything just please listen to your doctors in that sense but since i was able to tolerate some food before and my stomach still had some type of kick in it i wanted to keep that going these foods they're safe foods for me but not all of them drain and honestly i don't know which ones do or don't so just take everything at your own precaution remember i'm not telling you to do anything this is just my current safe foods and what works for me if you have any questions though uh any more questions just related to my safe foods my tea anything just like leave them down below and i will answer them now we are on to the liquids popsicles my favorite are outshine those ones i like tolerate the best sometimes i feel like with things like popsicles like if with certain types of like sugars or too sugary, it makes me nauseous. But for some reason, like the outshine ones, I can tolerate. My most recent favorite thing, I need to go get it, but it's in the freezer and I didn't want to bring it out like before. Italian ice, this brand though. I have tried Italian ice in the past and I've tried the Jeremiah. Okay, no, I was wrong because I was thinking of this gelato place for some reason the other brand of italian ice i was thinking of is luigi's i don't tolerate luigi's italian ice and because of that i have just avoided italian ice because i thought i couldn't tolerate it but this brand i can lindy's delicious i freaking love this all, all of the flavors that i've had so far so good Lindy's Italian ice. Honestly, I can tolerate coffee pretty well, which I'm thankful for because I just love the taste of coffee. I find if I make it at home, I tolerate it better than Starbucks, but honestly, Starbucks is so good that sometimes I can't resist. Speaking of Starbucks, some of my most recent favorite drinks from them, if you're not into coffee, is the dragon drink and the pink drink. I get the pink drink without strawberries 
and then the dragon drink depending on how daring i am sometimes i'll leave like the dragon pieces in there but just not eat them because i just like the vibe of them um but then if i'm like if i know it's a day where it's like my stomach is like no i just won't get the add-ins but the pink drink i never get the strawberries in and then chai as well um you can get a box chai from the grocery store like the tazo brand but my favorite drink <laughs> from Starbucks is the iced chai tea latte with brown sugar syrup and oat milk. It is so good. It, I swear it gets better every time I have it. Delicious. Matcha. Out of all the drinks of like chai, coffee, the other Starbucks drinks, I tolerate matcha the least. I like matcha. I love matcha. But I think it's due to the high milk content. I get dairy free milk, but even so, like I feel like just the higher milk content in that i just feel like i tolerate less but this is my favorite brand of matcha if i had to make matcha at home and then i also really love milk tea or like bubble tea milk tea if i'm having a really rough stomach day i'll get no boba but if i'm feeling daring i will do like half boba and then only have like a few little boba pieces because they're fun <laughs> i can also do small portions of ice cream my favorite dairy brand is jenny's so good it's so good um and my favorite non-dairy brand are so delicious and the target brand actually um dairy free ice cream is really good um another random drink that i like from the store is actually just like aloe vera juice i think it's delicious so good i'm not a big soup or broth fan but one thing that i really like is pho broth it just has so much flavor honestly it's delicious so if i were to pick a broth it'd be that oh i forgot about this drink too it's iced passion tea you can get it from starbucks as well like a iced passion tea lemonade i believe but they also sell like the concentrate in store so good i just mix this with like half this half water i love this this is like a perfect refreshing drink then i also drink peppermint tea when i'm feeling really bloated and nauseous and i we used to get like the little packs of them but honestly like we go through it so much so we just got like the loose leaf peppermint teas and then we got like reusable um i'm doing this because they like we have ones that clamp, but there's like metal. I don't know what you call them. It's a reusable way to make tea. For electrolyte drinks, my favorite is Drip Drop. But honestly, leave your recommendations below. But not liquid IV. Because I personally didn't like the flavor that much. Like, I don't know. I didn't like the flavor. And honestly, I feel like I didn't tolerate it that well. And so far, those are all like the safe foods that I have. I honestly don't really have that many recipes like to give you guys right now. Because for the past time, little while, my nausea has been honestly insane and i haven't been able to tolerate that much so i haven't been motivated necessarily to get creative and make recipes and everything because i just haven't felt good and i knew like it would make me so nauseous but hopefully in the future though i can get more like recipe type meals going on these are kind of just like quick snacks but we'll see but before i kind of end this video i want to go over my favorite um nausea stuff so friend that this is my this is my number one my number one honestly this is like the only med that has been with me from the start and has not given up on me. It's amazing. Find your nodement, that's good for you. I feel like we each have one that's like, that works well for us. And for candy wise, these are my favorites. So the ones that work the best are the pink store sweet peppermint drops and the tummy drops peppermint flavor. And when I say work best, work best for me. I, it could be different for everyone. And then also ginger chews, so good. These are spicy, I guess, but I have become so accustomed to ginger now that it doesn't even bother me. And I actually like ginger. I used to not like ginger, but now I do. <laughs> also, the lifesavers are really good. And then also these preggy pop drops are delicious. And they also work. <laughs> um, I've heard the queasy drops too work, but I honestly haven't tried those. I might order those for when these went out, but I'm not sure. And then there's also the stick that I got, a queasy stick. It's delicious. I don't know why I keep saying it's delicious, but it actually helps a lot. Oh my gosh, I forgot how soothing this is. Um, but I believe it's just like peppermint. So like peppermint um, essential oil. Oh, it's like a blend. So this is a blend of peppermint, spearmint, lavender, and ginger. So if you know how to like mix things, mix oils, those are the flavors for you. And then these wristbands as well. Honestly, I don't feel like these help a ton, but they help, I feel like a little bit. So I have these and I wear these if I'm feeling like extra extra nauseous yeah i think that's everything honestly i think this video is going to be longer than i was expecting i thought it was going to be like five minutes but it might be like 10 or something i don't know um but i hope this was helpful and like i said please leave like your recommendations down below i want this to kind of be like a little 
space for everyone to share their safe foods because I know it feels like there's so few foods that you can eat and it can be so frustrating and it's so hard to get creative with these type of things. So I want this to kind of be a place where everyone can share their foods and hopefully get more ideas and more nutrition. So yay! And remember if you have any questions, please just leave them down below as well. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give this video a like and a comment and to subscribe for new videos every Saturday. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Wanna say bye, Lux? She's so cute. Okay, bye.